Once I find the spot that I want to be in and the pose I want to do, pick up my phone, turn on my two second delay, throw my phone down, snap the pose, and ta-da, you've got yourself portrait. My sunshines, how's it going? How are ya? It's your girl Alex, and today I want to start a new series all about self-portraits. And to start this series off, I want to talk about the steps required to get that stellar self-portrait and finish with how to get the most out of one location. All right, let's get this video going. Now for actually capturing the photo. I use two things. First one is my cell phone, and second is a manual timer. I like to start off with my cell phone so that I can see what I'm looking at, how to line myself up, where to stand, what the clothing looks like in the photo. I then move on to my manual timer so that I don't have to press a button, throw my phone down, take the photo, pick it back up, press the button, do that all over again. So I'll break down both steps and you can choose what you like better. Once the Wi-Fi is enabled on my camera, I pull up the Wi-Fi on my phone connect to Jig's camera and then pull up my camera connect. It shows a screen like this and once it does connect, ta -da, I hit remote live viewing. Okay, cannot do that while I record, but <laughs> once you hit the remote live viewing, you can see exactly what the camera's looking at on your phone. It's pretty cool. From here, I can kind of look at what kind of poses I want to be doing. So I like the straight on because my sweater's pretty cute. Once I find the spot that I want to be in and the pose I want to do, pick up my phone, turn on my two second delay, which gives me enough time to hit the shutter button, throw my phone down, snap the pose, and then pick it back up. Once I've gotten a few photos on my camera, then I turn to my manual timer. I use this newer timer and I freaking love it. I just connect it to the front of my camera and this will take a photo every two seconds for 399 photos. Now all I gotta do is press that little center trigger button. Wrong button there, woman. You meant the top one. And start posing. And ta-da, you got yourself portrait. Remember, it's gonna take a while. Enjoy the process and just learn along the way. Have fun with it. After my little photo shoot on the trail, I headed east and met up with my girlfriend Jess, who has the coziest, comfiest feet, oh, it just warms my heart. And while we hung out on this freaking adorable cabin, I dove into how to get the most out of one location. And when I get to a new spot, the first thing I want to do is just take a walk around, pull out my cell phone and take a few sample shots to test out some different compositions, see what I like, see what I can come back to and shoot later. I find the best way to get the most out of any location is to take a mix of close-up portraits, medium, and far away full bodies, like so. Another great way to get the most out of your location is an outfit change. Bam, just like that. It looks like it's 6.30 the next morning and we're getting the most out of that location. And now I can post two photos from this area without looking like I'm running out of content. I don't know what to say. All right, that's fine. <laughs> I had a lot of fun making today's video. I know they were super highly requested across my Instagram, and I'm so glad to finally create it for you guys. Self-portraits take a lot of time, a lot of practice. So keep going, keep hustling, grow on, bitch, you got this. All right, I'm done. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you got this far, hit that like, show the series some support, because it's just begun.